Sweet School on RealArtCulture.com is brought to you by Syngenta Canada, Alberta Wheat Commission, and CNM Seeds. Peter Johnson at WheatPete, RealAgriculture.com, and Oh, don't tell me. Rust in the wheat crop. Man, last year's stripe rust nearly wiped us out. And yes, we have positively identified stripe rust in a wheat field down at Stony Point. That's in Essex County. What are we going to do? Well, not only stripe rust, but we have also positively identified leaf rust in a wheat field at Bruce County. So everybody needs to spray a fungicide, right? Wrong. So I'm a big fungicide guy, and you're going to use a fungicide at, at fusarium timing. That's a full stop. But in terms of an early fungicide and stripe rust, you know, we have a big, big variability in terms of the, the varieties that we have out there and their tolerance. So by the way, the leaf rust in Bruce County, that's one field, and it overwintered in that one field. So does that one field need a fungicide applied? The answer is absolutely. But there's almost no spore load. It's one field where it overwintered. We had a ton of leaf rust in the wheat crop last fall. Almost everywhere it did not overwinter. That one field, enough snow cover to protect those leaves and right along where the snow piled up, we have leaf rust. So we spray that field, but it doesn't put this huge spore load into the atmosphere that rains out and falls and means everybody needs to be worried about leaf rust. You need to scout. Because if it overwintered in your field, you'll need to spray as well, but it's not a big deal for everybody. Stripe rust. We have stripe rust on the second leaf middle of the canopy, which means it's not on the older overwintering leaves. It came as part of free trade from our friends to the south of the border. We have stripe rust again. Stripe rust is the worst disease I've ever come across in terms of how fast it, it develops. So, if we have stripe rust, and now it's in the middle of the canopy, that means pretty much everybody in Ontario, even though we found it only at Essex, Essex is a little warmer, but it means everybody got exposed. So the chances that your wheat crop got exposed to stripe rust is really, really high. So that means you need to spray a fungicide? It means you need to go to gocereals.ca, rather, gocereals.ca, that's where all the varieties are listed. If you have 25R46 or Venture, they were the two worst last year, and they get hammered by leaf rust. So if you have those in the field, you scout close, you see even one pustule of leaf rust, you are out there immediately put on your fungicide. If you have some of the intermediate varieties, some of the ones that are rated a four for stripe rust, boy, they can get hurt really badly. So again, I think you see any, any stripe rust, you're spraying a fungicide. But if you're with a variety that's got a one for stripe rust, I, I think that the genetic tolerance there is good enough that the fungicide is not that critical at this particular time. So you scout, you always scout, but you may well be able to wait and only spray your fusarium fungicide because everybody needs to spray that fungicide. So there you have it. We have two rusts here in Ontario. One matters for everybody, one only matters for a few, and you really need to go to the website, figure out what variety you have and what you need to do from a fungicide standpoint. Peter Johnson at Wheat Pete, realagriculture.com. Grow amazing wheat.